ever been in a fight where your Filipina partner goes quiet? Not the screaming kind of fight. More like a slow, silent retreat. This, my friend, might be tampo. It's a uniquely Filipino way of dealing with hurt and disappointment. Think of it as the silent treatment, but with a cultural twist. Tampo isn't about anger. It's about expressing hurt in a way that avoids direct confrontation. It's a way to signal, hey, you hurt me, without actually saying the words. It's a bit like a rain cloud hanging over your relationship. Here's the thing about tampo. It's reserved for people Filipinas care about. You won't see them doing this with strangers or casual acquaintances. It's a sign that you've hit a nerve, touched a sensitive spot. This doesn't mean you should dismiss it. In fact, it's a sign to pay attention. Your Filipina partner is trying to tell you something important. Ignoring tampo will only make things worse. So, how can you tell if your partner is in a state of tampo? Look out for these telltale signs. Radio silence communication drops to a minimum. Texts go unanswered. Phone calls go straight to voicemail. She might act perfectly normal around others, but there's a wall between you. Missing sparkle. Remember that cheerful, bubbly woman you fell for? She's gone into hiding, at least when it comes to you. If you notice these signs, there's a good chance Tampo is at play. Now that you recognize the signs, it's time to understand the deeper reasons behind the silence, often referred to as Tampo. This emotional withdrawal can stem from various sources. Let's delve into the reasons behind Tampo. It could be unfulfilled promises. You promised her the moon and delivered a rock. Those grand promises that never materialize can leave a lasting impact. You vowed to give her the moon, but handed her a mere stone instead. Time crunch. You've been too busy for quality time together. When schedules get hectic, emotional connections can suffer. You've been too busy for quality time together. Little white lies. Those harmless fibs? Yeah, not so harmless. Even small lies can erode trust over time. Those harmless fibs? Yeah, not so harmless. Forgotten gestures. Skip the goodnight text? Forgot to send a heart emoji? Busted. These small gestures mean a lot. Skip the goodnight text. Forgot to send a heart emoji. Busted. Missed moments. Anniversary. Birthday. Don't even think about forgetting those. These are milestones that matter. Don't even think about missing those special dates. Communication. Breakdown. Misunderstandings happen. Addressing them is key. Clear communication can prevent many issues. Misunderstandings happen. Addressing them is key. Craving connection. Sometimes she just wants your undivided attention. Being present in the moment can make a huge difference. Sometimes she just wants your undivided attention. Remember, what might seem trivial to you could mean the world to her. Understanding these reasons can help bridge the gap and bring you closer together. Section 5, Breaking the Silence, Lambing to the Rescue. So how do you deal with tampo? It's a common situation in relationships, especially in Filipino culture. The magic word is lambing. This simple yet powerful concept can turn things around. It's a Filipino term for affectionate gestures and expressions. These small acts of love can make a big difference. Think sweet talk, gentle touches, and genuine apologies. 
timing is key. Knowing when to approach and when to give space is crucial. Don't force a conversation when she's still hurting. Let her process her feelings. Give her space, but let her know you're there for her. Patience is a virtue. Sometimes just being present is enough. Tampo takes time to, to dissipate. It's not something that can be rushed. Be patient, understanding, and don't take it personally. Lambing works wonders. Cook her favorite meal, give her a massage. These thoughtful actions show you care. Shower her with genuine affection. Sometimes a simple hug can speak volumes. Remember, it's not about grand gestures, but about showing her you care. Small, consistent acts of love and kindness can mend even the deepest wounds. Section six, a bedtime story, making peace before sleep. I remember when my partner and I first encountered Tampo. It was a concept I wasn't familiar with, but it soon became a significant part of our relationship. I'd been so caught up in work that I'd barely seen her all week. Deadlines and meetings consumed my time, leaving little room for us. By Friday night, she was quiet and withdrawn. The silence between us was palpable and I could sense the distance growing. I knew something was wrong. Uh, her usual warmth was replaced by a cold, distant demeanor. Uh, instead of pushing her to talk, I drew her a warm bath, made her favorite dinner, and set the table with candles. I wanted to create a space where she felt loved and safe. I gave her a long, silent hug letting her know I was there for her without needing words. Sometimes, actions speak louder than any conversation. Later that night, as we lay in bed, she finally opened up. We talked things through, sharing our feelings and concerns. It was a moment of vulnerability and connection. By morning, the rain cloud had lifted. The tension that had built up over the week dissolved leaving us with a renewed sense of closeness. And that experience taught me the importance of addressing tampo before going to sleep. It's not just about resolving conflicts, but about reaffirming our bond. It's about ending the day on a note of love and understanding. Ensuring that no matter what happens, we go to bed knowing we are there for each other always. Section seven, beyond words, the language of Tampo. Tampo is about more than just the silent treatment. It's about understanding the unspoken language of emotions. It's about recognizing that sometimes silence speaks volumes. Pay attention to your partner's nonverbal cues. Look beyond the silence and try to understand the message behind it. Section eight, respecting boundaries, building trust. Dealing with Tampo is also about respecting your partner's boundaries. Don't force her to talk if she's not ready. Give her the space she needs to process her emotions. By respecting her boundaries, you're showing her that you value her feelings and that you trust her to communicate when she's ready. Section nine, Tampo and Beyond, a foundation for love. Navigating Tampo can be challenging, but it's an opportunity to build a stronger foundation for your relationship. It's about learning to communicate effectively, to understand each other's emotional needs, and to show love and affection in ways that resonate deeply. Remember, Every relationship has its own language of love. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. See you next time.